And uh, he just listened to a young girl who was saying that the Nigerian community here is totally very angry. So be very interested in this point at more than two. trying to find Guru Fuga on the internet. And you think you're going to find it? Yes, I'll find it. It's here. Here we go. Yes. The charter of Guru Fuga. Look. The charter of Guru Fuga re-established here is a version collected in Guinea at the end of the of a consulting regional workshop between traditional and modern communicators. These traditionists have those who, who decline the text. Then it has been transcribed and translated. The Charter of Kuru Kofu. Here are the, 40, the 44 articles of Kuru Kofu. You see, 44 articles. And this is like the Magna Carta. This is the first African, West African constitutions. It was about the, uh, the 10th century, 10th, 10th to, uh, to the 12th century. Yeah. And uh, it, was, it was under the, uh, the command of uh, Sujata Keita, uh, the, imp the imp emperor of the Mande Empire. What are the most important points in this constitution? Uh, the most important points are uh, one important for I can, all of them are really important. But one of the most important things for me is that this uh, this article, I mean this this constitution already have measurement measures for um, natural resources management. You can see somewhere in the. Uh, I don't, I don't know. I can't remember what, what article. But, um, there is one article inside which talks about uh, the notions of sucker, uh, uh, sucker animals. The, lo the, the notion of sucker uh, pounds. The, lo the, the notion of sucker forest. These are really uh, concepts uh, which are which we are here to protect natural resources, the environment, and, and the environment resources. And uh, the, the most, the most, the most, uh, the most important. Most important point is that this was about the 10th century, and now we are in the 21st century, and these are things, these are practices, uh, practices that we are trying to put in place. Yeah, to put in place everywhere. You wow. see, so this is something important to know. This is this is the first article which which presents uh, the picture of the Mande Empire, and it said that uh, the Mande Empire is divided into 16 clans of Kuver carriers. You see, the five clan of Marabu, Marabu are uh, the priests. Yes. Yeah. So these are this is the clans of the of the priests. Four groups of Nyamakala. Nyamakala are um, those those artisans, those um, artists, <coughs> uh, and and one group of slaves, you see. So, as you know, this is, this is slaves are category of people created by different wars among different tribes, etc. You know, each of 
each one has a specific role to play. You understand? For example, the Yamakala group have to devote uh, themselves to tell the truth to the chief. You see? So they foresee the truth through, um, uh, yeah. For, for example, if, if the king, if the king or if the empire has to make a mistake, uh, for example, by taking any kind of decision, which could be, which could go against the uh, the interest of the empire, uh, if he or if he did not uh, recognize this mistake, the Nyamakala group was Nyamakala were the kind uh, the group of people who could tell him, no, you you done that, you didn't, you're not right. Okay. Um, so uh, in the, the fourth article is uh, the society, uh, the division of the society into uh, different different age groups. Belong, uh, okay, belong to the same age group, the people, men or women, who are born during a period of three years in succession. So we've got, we've got an, an, an age group each three years. And this, the member of the intermediate class... Which that is between the, the young and the old. Yeah, between the young and the old should be invited to take part in Decision making. Yes, in taking uh, important concerning the society, important decisions concerning the society. So, wow, which yeah. means that um, it was something like a participatory approach. Exactly. It was a possibility. It's a democracy, right? This is democracy in the 10th century, in the 9th century of the, of the African history. So thank you very much for um, actually getting um, an elucidation of one of the greatest quotes of life, exactly. you know, exactly. informal codes of life in the history of man from West Africa. Something like the Magna it's, it's like the Magna Carta. It's something like the Magna Carta from know. the from the African continent. Mm -hmm. And we had it from Mali and we talked to Mamadou. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, you just listen to a young girl who was saying that the Nigerian community here is totally very angry. Go on, go, gather, um, destroy their food. Later, put it with the camp and that other camp, the local camp. You know, compensate everybody. But some of them, who in a key generation sometimes. Today, I'm hoping to be in the style of TV flag, a poison writer. And we shall also be very interested in this point at more than two. Some lives are meaningful. Some are empty. Lives that are meaningful with too much meaning and riches to offer humankind. You know, after some of these earthly adventures and no more, one can still find footprints of these big lives on the pavements of our contemporary lives. Good evening, you're welcome to the program Green Planet.